In this video, I want to give you a quick tip for mixing and mastering inside of Bitwig Studio. So usually when you want to compare the frequency distribution of, let's say, the kick drums or the, the drums in general and the bass, right? You use usually some kind of spectrum analyzer here. I use it after the bass synth. And you can see here the frequency distribution of the bass, right? And then you import here for the second input, you just take the drums. And then you can overlay here the frequency distribution of the drums and compare it to the bass, right? You can see here there are some overlapping frequencies. So this is pretty well known, I, th I guess. Uh, but sometimes you want to quickly change what you compare. So you want to compare maybe the music bus or the pads with the drums or the pads with the bass and so on. And then it becomes more tedious because you have to move the spectrum analyzer around or you have to use multiple spectrum analyzers and then move them around and then you select different here inputs, right? So it's a bit tedious. So um, I found out sometimes it's more interesting or better or quicker to use it on the FX or return buses in Bitwig Studio. So here I have FX1 already in place and I usually don't use FX buses or these return buses in general because I like to have all my effects on the track itself. So here I have just one FX track and I create another one too. And here I basically use a spectrum analyzer on on the second channel and I import for B here the FX channel one pre and then I send here the output to no output and also here no output right so now we can just take the spectrum analyzer detach it as a separate window here and can maybe use this on a second screen or just in the corner here and then all I have to do is I just go to my tracks here and use these send buttons or send knobs. So now I have here the drums and then I bring in here, let's say the bass. You can compare it quickly to the bass. You can also go here maybe to the synth. You can see if the drums are actually overlapping here with the drums and so on. So this is more or better or quicker sometimes and it's also pretty handy on this mixing screen because you have direct access here to these knobs, right? So you can quickly go around and send different things to the spectrum analyzer and then compare it quickly. So this is my idea for uh, mixing and mastering with the spectrum analyzer. Um, by the way, you can also use here, instead only using the spectrum analyzer, you can also use the oscilloscope if you want to, but that's a problem, a small problem. So here B, we select um, also FX1 pre. And then we have to use, of course, certain things. You can see the problem here is the coloring is completely the opposite. A is blue and here A is orange. So if you det detach this here also and put it on a second, uh, second screen or in the corner here, it kind of messes you up sometimes. Right, so here the drums are blue and here the drums are orange. And then you bring in here, let's say the bass. It's completely the opposite. So it's a bit, yeah, it's probably a bug. Uh, I probably have to report this. So just the coloring is basically the opposite, right? A is blue and here A is orange, but yeah. So I thought it's kind of handy to show you this. Uh, maybe it's useful to you if you like it. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.